Oh, I think, I think we're going to be, by the time we actually shoot the show, which will be in a few weeks, I think we'll be closer to 2,000. 2,000 yeah. dogs. Of the top dogs in the country are going to be there. Over 180 different breeds. Most people can only name about five or six different breeds, but there's over, there are actually more than 200 actually registered with the AKC. And in order to be registered, you have to have a support group, you have to have a certain number of dogs, and also a written standard for what the history of the breed is. Wow. So it's, uh, it's quite a bit that goes into a, uh, to registering a breed. Now you have your own dogs. Have they ever competed? No, 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 <laughs> no. no. It's uh, and it's uh, one of them possibly could be a good show dog, but uh, the, the other two are just are more lovable. They're they're um, <laughs> they're they're lovers, not fighters. So um, yeah, I have uh, I have a little Havanese. I have a nice. Uh, then I have a little Cavalier King Charles, and then I have a little rescue dog that is uh, named Charlotte, and Charlotte rules the house. She rolls up her sleeves and says, "Okay, boys, this, these are the rules." You're gonna follow me. Yeah, they say exactly. they. This is the way it happens. This she, is the way it She works. determines the energy in the household at any more time. Yeah, yeah, she's a doll. Now, yeah. what makes a good show dog? Because, to be honest, I love watching these shows, and obviously we, we know the famous one that's after Thanksgiving, sure. but what is it that constitutes a prime show dog? Well, a show dog has to be, there's a certain energy level to a show dog mm -hmm. because it is about showing. They have to have that sense of, you know, I'm the only one in the room right here. Mm -hmm. Certain dogs have that and certain dogs don't. Now, they also have to be the best of the, uh, according to the written specification of what that dog should be. Mm -hmm. There is a written spec for every dog, uh, every breed, and they have to adhere to that. Um, I mean, as to, you know, my, my co-host said to me one time, he says, you can hide a really bad dog with a really good haircut. <laughs> okay, well, sure. I'm going to do that with my dogs when I get home as well and give them a really good haircut. Yeah. No, we obviously have our very own Maria Menounos is going to be covering she the red carpet. Be out. Yes, well, this is the Beverly Hills show, so we want to put a little bit of Hollywood into it. So, as I refer to it as a dog show done differently. We have, a, we actually have, um, I would refer to the best in show portion of the show where we have our last seven dogs that are competing for the, the title and the trophy are actually on a catwalk of sorts. So, they're, uh, they're struggling their stuff down on the catwalk. Yeah, so the whole show has a different look to it, a, a more casual, more fun feel than you've seen at Westminster or the show that we have on Thanksgiving Day, the National Dog Show presented by Purina. The, this has a little bit of a different, more casual feel. Now, once the dogs win this particular show, do they move on to another one, or is that completely separate? Well, all of the shows are separate, okay. but the championships, they are accumulating points during the year okay. for the best, you know, and, and one dog will be named top dog. Have you guys shot already? Because I know it's airing April 21st. Yeah, we, uh, we'll actually uh, we'll, we'll shoot it in uh, early March, okay. and then it'll air on the 21st, yeah. Which is great, because Easter Sunday, of course, with, with uh, the success of the Thanksgiving show, we know that family days are great days for dog shows. So we're going to try Easter Sunday and, uh, and uh, see, if it, see if it floats. Fantastic. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.